Welcome back my friends. What a beautiful, glorious day. But we are going to pay for it at night time with the cold. And we've got the beast from the east coming, which is going to get us down to minus 15 in places. And I haven't got too much to worry about other than the uh, pond freezing over where the fish are. My carrots are in the sandboxes and we'll be doing a full reveal of those in March as we will do with the parsnips as well. I've got two buckets of Marfonia second earlies. There, still got some carrots. The Jerusalem artichokes are under there for now. I've got to figure out how to store those before they start rooting. Right, polytunnel. These are the boxes I used for the carrots on top of the compost bin last year. Not sure whether that's going to be their position. I managed to get some of the sand out of one of the parsnip boxes and carrot box to go in there. Still got this one to do. Need to get the parsnips and carrots out, so that'll be the March vegetable reveal. These containers are going to have the giant onions in. So we'll have tomatoes, cucumbers at the back, giant onions at the front, and then the giant parsnips and giant carrots in those containers. So we'll have the concentrate that we did the other day to go into these two, because if you remember, we just used comfrey concentrate in that one, wormery in that one, compost bin runoff in that one, and nettle in that one. We ended up doing a mix. So we've got one of banana, two of wormery, two of comfrey, three of compost bin runoff, and two of nettle. My previous video will show you that, how we did that. That'll be mixed one to 10 for the growing plants, but to rejuvenate the spent compost, it'll be used as a concentrate. We'll see how it does. And I've been setting out some more of the lamp covers along here, ready to take uh, the tomatoes and cucumbers if spring arrives eventually. Slowly getting down the soil, but at the moment it's uh, rock hard. Where the sun's been on the soil, it's made a hell of a difference. So we're still in a mess. Loads of containers all over the place. Still doing well, the broad beans. I've had to cover the purple sprouting broccoli up because the pigeons have took a fancy to the leaves. Going to be trying those large street lamp covers on top of where the giant vegetables are going. Give that a whirl. I knew I'd make a use for them one day. Slowly working my way through the Jerusalem artichoke bed to try and get every last one out. Several people have asked, how can I guarantee it? I can't. This bed will stay here until I've got rid of them all because this, this bed will, will be the start of the no dig, but obviously it'll be two meters wide. That'll be in the future, in the next two years. The red onions have perked up and they're looking okay at the moment. Let's just hope they don't go to seed this year. One carrot box emptied and we'll be doing a reveal next weekend if the frosts and the weather allows us uh, to remove every last carrot, which are sweet candle. Hoping to get some kale next weekend. It's just started to sprout again. Mind you, this cold weather might uh, make it pull its ear holes in. Remarkably, the Brussels haven't actually blown. Now, if you remember, I actually took the tops out. Whether that makes a difference or not, I don't know. Uh, we've just got a few that have uh, don't look so pleasant at the end. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with those. Again, hopefully, they will survive this next little bit of winter that we're having here in the UK. And we'll do a reveal on the last lot of sprouts in uh, March. Well, I've moved over to plot one now, hashtag starting a new allotment. And the greenhouse is fastened down and in its place. And I've bought over the where the first earlies are going in. 
that'll be the Pentelin uh, Javelin I've got uh, six containers there 12 seed potatoes if Paul Jono Johnson is listening and watching please leave a comment on the video for the 2000 subscribers part two you've got a few days left my friend to make contact before I give the prize to somebody else I've been turning the water on just to open up uh, the ice on there I've managed to finish the border around the wildflower garden and also managed to get all the trees planted the first four trees here I bought today they've got labels on so I've made sure they stay on this time now I've seen a lot of videos of people how they uh, buy stuff you know me so I bought uh, a one meter length or perhaps just you no know, be about a meter length of threaded bar for about three pound you get one nut went through my nut and bolt box got another nut and these washers are from my old safety barrier days all nuts and bolts had to be replaced you couldn't reuse them so I've actually got the threaded bar and then I've welded art welded uh, another washer on tighten it up all in all that didn't cost me a great deal at all probably about 10 pound in total for all all the strands obviously as you tighten these up it pulls the posts over so I've just put some supports in there if it does get any worse then I'll have to put a better one in but I'm pleased with those I wasn't going to show you me putting the fruit trees in because I'm no expert I've uh, only watched a few videos this section will be for the cut flowers for Mrs K obviously I'll have to plant them I might even cut them and take her some flowers but you know what it is guys when you take the wife some flowers you always get that question what you done wrong the last bit of horrible compost that's got the vine weevil in is in there now not got enough strawberries but i'm going to treat all these as soon as i can now once this frost's gone wood chips i will need some more on plot three but other than that there's not a lot i can show you now rhubarb in the containers I've got this just in case the rhubarb in the bed doesn't take it looks like everything's going to be okay but it's always nice to have a backup I'd just like to thank Nick that's N-I-C apostrophe S Nick's allotment for sending me and muddy boots uh, some of the snowdrops mine haven't actually come on so well but I've got them there in both corners and all the way down there right down to the very end I think I'll get a good show next year after seeing I think it might have been Mike Herdis uh, these crates and muddy boots I spotted those in a ditch so they've been cleaned and they're ready for further use as and when I need them not sure whether I mentioned this before but this is uh, an old type litter bin and the bottom used to be the lid so I'll reverse that round and put the lid and then put some legs on it it makes an ideal little burner thanks for watching guys stay safe this next week or so the weather will change any snow that falls will not melt and please give us gritter drivers a chance to get out there it takes us two and a half hours to do a route so if you do have to travel make sure you've got everything in your vehicle how the the, the, the amount of times that we've seen people in t-shirts no shovel uh, no means of keeping warm and they ask us for help i'll just wave at them and drive on so please stay safe 
stay well and even better happy gardening till next time my friends to Rafa now